again everyone, it's Rose, and it's my job to make you a vegan expert. Today, we are going to tackle squash. Now, I love squash. I feel it's very undervalued. It's so nutritious, it's a perfect side dish, and deliciously simple. It can be a really fun dish to dress up, make soup, or even a pie. There are so many different types of squash available. They ripen in the fall, so this is why it's such a seasonal vegetable. However, if you grow your own, you can harvest them in the fall, store them in a cool place, and they will keep for many months. You can also save the seeds and use those for next year's garden. Today we're going to tackle the most common types of squash that you're going to find in the grocery store. Acorn, butternut, and spaghetti squash. Here is what they look like when you're done cooking them. Preparing squash is as simple as slice, scoop, and steam. The acorn squash is named after its shape. It has a sweet flavor and it's ready to prepare when the outside starts turning orange like this. You're going to simply cut it in half. It's easiest to cut when starting at the bottom. Please remember to work carefully whenever you are working with a knife. Apply moderate pressure and rock the knife. Don't be in a hurry. You'll find that the heel of the knife tends to lead the cut. When it cracks open, it's going to look like this. You probably think this looks like the inside of a Halloween pumpkin. You would be right. Pumpkins are actually a type of squash. Now that you've sliced it, it's time to scoop. If you have an ice cream scoop, this is ideal because it has a tough edge. You can also use a large metal spoon to scrape out the seeds and wetting. The flesh of the squash is quite firm. And when you remove the seeds, it's going to look like this. Let's do this again with butternut squash. I like to cut off the ends and then I stand it up to slice it in half. Take your trusty spoon and scoop out the insides until it's nice and smooth. Now it's time to steam them. It's essential that you pour water into the bottom of the dish to steam the squash, about a half inch or so. When you place them in the dish, place them with the skin side up. I cooked both the acorn squash and the butternut squash in the same Pyrex dish. Now place them in the oven, 375, think low and slow. You can leave them in there for about 45 minutes, check on them periodically. You'll know they're done when they turn brown on top. You should also be able to lightly touch the peel and it will cave in a bit. Lift them out of the pan and let them cool on your cutting board. I lift them out with a large fork and spoon. Here's some footage of me scooping out the flesh of an acorn squash. See how easy and soft it is to remove? If it isn't this easy and soft, they are not cooked all the way through. You'll see the ridge lines on the inside of the peel when I'm done removing the squash. This dish is really tasty with vegan butter and sea salt. Here again is the cooked butternut squash. I have flipped it onto the cutting board. With a few easy passes, we will have another dish of sensational squash. Finally, I'm going to show you spaghetti squash. You'll see that when spaghetti squash is cooked, it looks like noodles, so that's how it got its name. Start by cutting off the ends, and then slice it in half. Scoop this one out the best that you can, but remember, it has a special texture. You're not going to get that nice smooth result when, when removing the seeds. That's normal. Get out another casserole dish and place them with the skin side up plus a half inch of water. Cook them in a 375 degree oven for 30 to 45 minutes. See how the skin is soft and falling down? It's ready to come out of the oven. Let it cool. Place it on your cutting board and use a large fork to scrape the insides. 
it comes off in narrow strips and really does look like spaghetti. I actually cooked all three squash in the oven at the same time, 375 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. So in one hour, I made fresh squash and I can freeze these and save them. So I'll reheat in the microwave or put it in a pan with some water to reheat. Once you get comfortable with squash, you can dive into some fun variations like stuffed acorn squash or using the cooked squash to make real pumpkin pie. Try using spaghetti squash with tomato sauce and a vegan Parmesan cheese. Cooking squash is super easy. Slice, scoop, steam, and enjoy your sensational squash.